very simply, your capitalization rate is basically your purchase price divided by your net operating income, right? Or vice versa. I don't, whatever one goes on top, right? So if you have a um, million dollar net operating income and you sell it for $10 million, then you have a 10% capitalization rate. So right. commercial real estate is valued typically based on cash flows. So your NOI and then what the market is typically showing for cap rates, right? So if you are buying a, single family house in a rural part of Ohio, you should probably expect to see 15 to 18% capitalization rates, right? It's more risky. So you'll see higher rates. Um, in major metros, I mean, there's, there's something that just traded in Manhattan for a 2.75 cap rate. But international investors look at New York City as a bond. They don't think that the market is going to move very much on them. You, you'll get appreciation over time. So they just so 2% cap rate, I would never buy something that's making me 2% on my money, but people are banking on appreciation. They're taking depreciation. They get some tax benefits. Um, so really it's just a way to value your, your property. So REITs tend to pay compressed cap rates. It just means that they, they tend to pay a little bit more for property because they're holding it long-term. Their strategy is to pay dividends to investors. So they're looking at, again, more safe, stable, consistent returns, um, you know, than your individual investor that's trying to make 10% on their money. 